the grandmother of Quentin Simon, the missing boy presumed dead by cops, has broken her silence after an altercation with the boy's babysitter. Little Quentin Simon mysteriously vanished from his home in Chatham County, Georgia, on October 5th. Quentin's grandmother, Billy Jo Howell, appeared to have shared a post over the weekend before deleting her Facebook profile. We are welcoming prayer and kindness in our yard that shows hope for Quentin. We love him and are completely devastated. The gifts for him give us hope in humanity. Howell and Quentin's babysitter, Diana Michelle McCarter, got into an alleged altercation that was captured on video. McCarter has spoken out about the incident, offering her version of the story. The reason she barged into my house is because I offered to cook for her and to put flyers out, McCarter said in a Facebook video from October 11th. I don't understand why it made her so mad. She told me I was overstepping because I was just the babysitter. If my child or my grandchildren was missing, I would want any and everyone to help me. I know I did contact the grandmother a lot via text or calling because she had custody. She did budge into my house, and she did get mad because she said I was putting up a memorial for her grandson. I never said that. I didn't know getting some people together praying for Quentin was putting up a memorial. I didn't know that cooking her food was overstepping my boundaries. I thought that's what you should do when a family is going through something. These babies didn't come to me every day with bruises. Quentin did have bruises, but he also fell a lot because he ran. I wasn't there. I don't know if his mother beat him or gave him them bruises. All I know is that when he was here, he was taken care of. The right people knew what was going on. It was up to them to fix this. Hit me, hit me. Harold reportedly burst into McCarter's house and accused her of taking the missing toddler. The grandmother is also heard screaming my baby's not dead after McCarter spoke about creating a memorial. The shocking footage was recorded by McCarter's daughter and passed to local news channels of Howell who reportedly has custody of Quentin, 20 months, and his babysitter McCarter accuse each other of lying. At one point McCarter dares the grandmother, hit me, hit me, and Harold replies, do you think I would do that? She then shouts at McCarter, do you have Quentin? You're the only one who can go in my house and take him. The footage emerged after McCarter revealed she received an odd text hours before little Quinton vanished in Savannah, Georgia, on October 5. She said Quinton's mother Leilani Simon messaged telling her she was not needed to look after the toddler and his brother. McCarter told Zav, I got a text saying they would not be here, I would not be babysitting them, at 5.29 am. Which was kind of odd because I have them even when she doesn't work. She added, and then I get a text at 9 a.m. saying, have I seen Quinton? I immediately go to their house. I try to help them look, they didn't want that. So, I've been just waiting around like everyone else. My heart is broken. I'm not his mother. I'm not his family. But I love him very much, and I just don't know what could happen. Prime Suspect Quinton has been missing since October 5th, however. This week the Chatham County Police Department revealed that they now believe he is dead. As you know, our investigation over the last eight days has led us to the heartbreaking conclusion. That 20-month-old Quinton Simon is deceased, Chatham County Police said. We have named his mother, Leilani Simon, as the primary suspect in Quinton's disappearance and death. We have not made an arrest or filed any charges in this case. The toddler's family had been informed of the latest developments, police said. Despite their initial findings, cops insisted that the search for Quinton will continue. It will continue with every available resource we have in order to give Quinton's family closure. And see that justice is served in this case, the department said. Before his disappearance, Quinton lived with his mother, her boyfriend, his grandparents, and two other children in Savannah, according to Fox 5 Atlanta. 
His mother first reported him missing at around 9.40 a.m. on October 5th, saying that he had been in his playpen just hours before. At the time, Quinton was last seen wearing a Sesame Street t-shirt and black pants. The FBI has been involved in the investigation, 